that's going to work for both positions or that will only work for one or the other. It could be that I could get another mounting disc from the company and be able to move it to two different positions. But it seems like you should be able to do it where you just uh, twist it around. So what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to I'm going to record this audio and then I'll check um, from the disk. I'll check from the disk and see if this turned out to be a good way to do this or not. Actually, what will have to happen is it'll have to be up on the windshield and face backwards. So it'll probably be from about this range instead. But we'll have to see how that works out. But the big thing I'm, that I'm interested in for this test is what's the sound quality and whether my voice comes across clearly enough on the dash cam for me to do it this way or if I would need to um, take some other approach. So that's what we're testing today is the dash cam for video blogs to see if that would be, if that will work. Actually, I could mount it fairly low and I think I'm actually getting a picture from the dash cam on my phone. I think what I want is it mounted up high and looking down. The lighting looks a lot better there. So we'll try different things and see. If you hold the phone sideways, the video picture fills up the whole thing, which is nice. So we'll try it both ways and see. Here we go. Let's just see. What's the RX 330? The RX 330 is the main competitor for the SRX and the XT5. And so that's the 330 and the RX 350. That's the class leader there. So not a uh, particularly sharp looking crossover. But that's the competition. Using this, I like the idea of using this as a dash cam. That I actually have the performance data recorder, but it's 720p, and I don't have it on all the time. The nice thing about the dash cam is it would automatically come on all the time. But the disadvantage is, you know, of course, the PDR is all wired in, which is nice. But if I was just going to